Hey, what's going on YouTube? So, I want to discuss overclocking and give you a brief overview on how to do it. Now, this is very basic, so for all the pros out there, don't freak out. You can give me a dislike if you want, I don't really care. But, for all the dudes who just want to kind of overclock and not do anything crazy, you're gonna see here in a little bit, I'm actually filming with my phone. I don't have a capture card or anything for my uh, computer, so. Just bear with me on that part. Uh, why would you want to overclock? So, good reason to overclock is you get more speed out of your CPU. Will the temperature increase? Yeah. Depends on how you do it. Uh, mainly you want to focus on increasing the speed, megahertz, gigahertz, whatever you're going for. Um, but if you increase the voltage, expect the temperature of the CPU to go up. And you also need to make sure that you're balanced now so that when you increase your uh, speed, megahertz, gigahertz, that the voltage is able to support it or else you will also have issues. All right guys, let's dive in. <laughs> let's dive in. Oh. All right dudes, let's dive in. <laughs> All right guys, as you can see, I got an overclock already, but you're gonna wanna hit F2 and that screen pops up so you can get into your BIOS. Uh, this is for the Asus motherboard. Um, it's not like the old menus where you go through and you have to click everything. It's uh, actually got a user interface, which is pretty nice. Uh, but as you can see over here, you got your fan controls, temperatures, everything's on the uh, main screen right here. You can even go into easy tuning right here and do a uh, quick overclock, but it's not a very good one. It's not going to do much for you. So go ahead and just cancel out of here. Um, we're going to go to advanced. So click on this. Once you get in here, you have all your little monitors up here and everything that you can track. We're going to AI Tweaker. Switch this to manual. Alright, you want all the cores to be synced together so they're on the same ratio. And then you adjust it. So this is 4.3 gigahertz. Um, 44 will be 4.4. It's a multiplier. But yeah, just keep track of that. Make sure they're all synced together. We're going to scroll down. You can also adjust your uh, RAM on here, I just want to point that out, I have not done it yet. But down here is where the voltage comes in. As far as the voltage goes, never exceed 1.4, you probably shouldn't even be at 1.4, it's the danger zone. Um, 1.3 is probably safe, but I have it on 1.2 and I'm running a pretty decent overclock. Some things you're going to want to get is going to be a uh, sign bench, uh, something like sign bench at least, something that's going to put some pressure on your CPU so you can make sure it's not going to crash on you, because if it does, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Alright, so uh, definitely get some kind of CPU monitor, that's something you definitely want. CPU ID is the one I'm going to use and I'll show you that real quick right here. So this is CPU ID, uh, this is what it looks like, this is basically your computer's vital signs right here all in one place, which is awesome. Just go through and check everything out, uh, you can use this to make sure that you actually made it to whatever your overclock was, so if I made it to 4300 megahertz and that's what I set my overclock to, then yeah, it'll show up on the far right as max and it may even sit at that on the rest of it. Um, it may be a little over or a little under, but check that. Also check your temperature on the CPU to make sure that you didn't exceed uh, whatever the danger zone would be for your CPU. Uh, sign bench, which I'm not going to run that, but you can look that up online. It just puts a, a stress test on your CPU so that you can see if it's going to crash or not. And if it crashes, you get the screen we showed you just a little bit ago. Um, honestly, don't exceed 1.3 volts and you should probably be good. If you're going into 1.4, you really need to test on SignBench or something like every little bit that you go up. Hey, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, I know this is kind of brief and it's not uh, in-depth, but this is basically for guys who want to do overclocks on their PC, but they don't want to do all the crazy extra little tweaks that everyone does. Uh, yes, you can make it even better. But like I said, I got 22% overclock, and I didn't have to do anything insane to get that overclock. Captain Insano shows no mercy. Just exactly what I showed you, actually, so. Good luck with the overclocks. 
Uh, give a like, dislike, whatever it was. Or you can subscribe, that would be cool too. That could be your CPU if you overclock it. <laughs>